If you watched anime as much as I did during your childhood and you were into art, most likely you at one point drew in a quote unquote anime slash manga art style. Personally, I would say that I've definitely shifted my style into something that's a good medium between western comics and manga with a smidge of realism to it. But I've always wanted to talk about the anime art style because I hear lots of good and bad things in regards to it. At a young age, I would say that we drew akin to whatever we were inspired by. If we like the certain comic or manga, we may have geared our art style to mimic that particular style. I remember vividly being into Bleach, since I loved how cool the characters looked and I wanted my own characters to look the same way. So what I did was, I looked up a bunch of images from the Bleach manga and tried copying some of the art, whether it was face shots or some poses. And I would say starting out this way is a very efficient way of getting art up to a pretty decent level. Of course I didn't draw as great as Taite Kubo, but I was inspired to draw like him so I continued. However, while doing this, I came to a slight issue. Without having a reference of one of his pieces, I couldn't do much with my own imagination, and it felt a bit limiting. I thought that a style that wasn't straight up realism, or at least wasn't too close to it, would be easy to nail down. And here's the misconception. The anime art style is not really easy. In fact, I would go as slightly as far to say as that it's actually very difficult, because you sort of have to ask yourself, what exactly is the anime art style? How I sort of describe it as is a distortion of proportion in a certain way. The problem with that is that it can be used to describe any sort of art style that deviates from realism. However, when people say an anime art style, they usually have a certain proportion in mind. Large cute glistening eyes, usually a sharp chin, a thin neck, and a reduction of the lips and nose. At times, you can even remove the nose entirely, and I think it's safe to say that this can be described as the anime art style. You can look at Keon, Haruhi Suzumiya, Sora Online, etc, etc, that style. Obviously, not all anime slash manga look like this. If you compare One Piece, Death Note, Vagabond, and Jojo, you can glaringly see the differences in these styles. So what does this mean? Well, first off, it means that there is no one anime art style. And second, the anime art style that most people that aren't familiar with anime tend to visualize is the cute style that is highly commercialized. If you type in anime art style in Google right now, you most likely see the common reductions and distortions I mentioned previously. But then again, you'll see something like Jojo, which is far from common, and realize, once again, there is no one anime slash manga art style. It's a very large spectrum. Early in this video, I mentioned previously if you're inspired by a certain anime or manga art style, you would most likely adopt certain aspects of that style. But I would argue that while you were seeing what they drew, you wouldn't understand the underlying thought processes. What I'm going to say next might anger a lot of people, but I strongly implore that if you want to say pull off a really good anime art style, or just a style in general, is that you might need to learn or study the general basic proportions of anatomy. And you may ask why? Why can't I just be inspired by other artists that I like? And that's true, you can still do that. Hell, I think it's almost impossible to create a new style from scratch since everything has more or less been thought of and created already. It's just that it's crazy because when I was in art school, I heard many people rebuttal criticism saying that it's just their style. Sorry, but that excuse can only get you so far. This is strictly my opinion, but I think, and I stress I think, the reason why so many art teachers in America at least, share the same general distaste in the anime art style is because it sort of becomes a bit inbred if you get what I mean. Meaning people are copying off of people that were copying off of other people that were copying off of more people with no general foundation for anything. Now don't misunderstand me as saying that this is necessarily a bad thing. Again, I do think everyone is more or less inspired by someone or something, which is obvious. Nothing is completely original. The problem comes into play when they become closed-minded. It becomes a case when it's either their way or the highway, when total little anatomical knowledge can help them. And sure, some anatomical distortions can be just their style. I mean, look at Kaiji. It is one of the most off-the-wall anime manga art styles I've ever seen. It's sort of hard to describe, but that looks like an intentional stylistic choice, while say a beginner artist that are still have no foundation in anatomy can do some distortion, and it could look like a mistake. It's hard to describe, but it's sometimes very easy to see. However, with all of this being said, I sort of want to put all of what I just said into practice. I don't consider myself to have a very realistic style, but I can dip my foot into that realm if I want to brush up some skills or practice. But for this video, I'll try to draw on a general cute kawaii anime style with my foundation in realism. Okay, so I'm just going to be narrating um, as I show you guys my attempts of working or makeshifting, I guess, my own 
iteration of an anime style. So basically going by the proportions I already do know, say like the brow line, the nose and the chin, I split them in thirds. But from there, I try to, you know, go for those anime proportions, like a large eyes, sharp chin, like smooth curved features and a thin neck. Although for this neck, I honestly think I could have gone a bit thinner and I could also make the nose, not the nose, um, the chin a slightly sharper. Um, for the nose though, I do reduce it tremendously. I try to make it like a small dot or even remove it entirely. And for the eyes, um, I try to make it glisten as much as possible with that highlight, really make it pop. And if, as you guys, if you know me, I don't usually do line art, but I do think the anime style sort of does lend itself with a degree of cleaner line art. And the hair, the hair, I actually went very detailed with the hair. I sort of indicated lots of strands, like fine strands like that. And um, I think I will decide on that being something to keep in my makeshift anime art style. And with that, I am more or less done. I'll just add some of the screen tones and I will finish up the image. I think I did pretty well on this. As a front um, angle view, it's it's pretty decent. Um, although I do think I did much better on the next one though. Okay, starting off this image, I'm doing the Loomis method. I'm doing a three fourths view, sort of had a down angle. And um, this part is very important because structure is very um, crucial in terms of like getting a anime style that you own, so to speak. And the reason being is because you sort of want your style to be malleable. You don't want to be stuck doing a certain head at a certain angle always. So it's good to sort of practice with proportion and features at certain different angles. So you really cement that this is your style. Again, I just try to have the trademark anime features, the large eyes, the thin neck, sort of like a smooth features, say like in the cheekbone. Um, and also I'm doing line art. Line art, again, it really lends itself for the anime art style. It also helps with like things like the eyes. It really gives that glowing, glistening effect. Um, I do think I made the shoulders a bit too broad. I could have definitely squeezed that to make it like a bit more tighter. Um, the neck, again, could be a bit thinner. Because again, if you're distorting one part of the image, like one feature, say like the eyes, if they're going to be big and like you're going to remove the nose, you also have to adjust adjacent features so it's not so uncanny. Which is why I sort of regret um, how I did the ear in this one. Um, I did some serious details on the ear. It could honestly be much more simplified as you see right now. I sort of did it as a realistic ear and I could have um, removed some lines and made the line economy more coherent. And just like the previous one, I finished up with screen tone. So yeah, let's see how it looks finished. And again, personally, I really like how this came out. The thick liner really does help sell this style. Um, I made sure that the eyes were glistening. I removed the nose entirely. And um, I, again, the hair, although it has a lot of detail, I do think it cohesively works with this style. Again, really like how this came out. Um, on to the next one. Okay, personally, I did not really like how this last one ended up. I sort of want to do a full body shot. But um, the thing is, I'll, I'll say the, the tracking part of having um, deep rooted fundamentals is that trying to distort it in a way that makes sense, that's like sort of falls along your style, is sort of hard. So again, I try to go for it. Um, again, I do the Loomis um, skeleton method or the mannequin method, just so I get the proportions right in a general sense. Then I um, do the sketch on top and now I'm trying to do the line art. Um, again, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of line art, but um, the anime style, it just works with it very well, especially since I'm not going to do like an extreme paint over of this style, but I do try to color it and not in a, my usual painterly style, but again, a style that's like akin to you, most anime, which sort of begs the question for you guys watching, um, would you want to see me draw in a more anime style or are you fine with the type of art that I already do? Because I'm um, personally, um, I do want to sort of master the anime style because again, I do personally think it's sort of hard to pull off. It's not as easy, I feel, as most people think it is. Um, it's definitely easy to see someone draw or see an, a style of anime that looks good, but drawing it, like getting the proportions down, I, I would say that, um, that's an extra, that's extra step that I would say you'd have to, you'd have to learn. But again, it might just be me. Honestly, I, I might just be the weird one. Most people pro could probably draw an anime style very well, but drawing realism is super hard. And again, that's why I would say it's not necessarily the golden rule, so to speak. 
Yeah, looking at this now, I could definitely use some work with the bottom half of the torso. Like anything below the pelvis, it's a bit wonky looking at it right now. And, um, and again, it comes with style, it comes with um, studying, studying the fundamentals, studying anatomy especially. Um, that you'd, I'd have to put in the work for it in terms of mastering, I guess, an anime style or even my general style because I would personally say that this isn't my base style. But anyway, let's just see how it looks when I more or less finish this image. Again, those legs, uh, they're sort of a bit off, honestly. But um, overall, it's pretty all right. Um, not the best I could do, but again, still something I'm working on. But um, yeah, those are the images I did in the my, so to, so to speak, anime art style. But yeah, I wanted to make this video because the anime art style has been heavily scrutinized. I've been hearing people saying that it all looks the same, or it's boring, or it's generic. And, Yes, I, I do see where that's coming from, but I also wanted to bring note that there are plenty of anime art styles. It's not just the one, and this video in particular was just talking about, the, I guess, the mainstream anime art style. Um, not that it's bad, not that it's boring, again, it's just a thing that is highly commercialized. And when people hear anime art style, they have a certain image in their head. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please like the video honestly um subscribe if you want um comment if you want to do that as well uh, my instagram my socials twitter twitch they're they're in the description if you want my patreon is too um i'm gonna put my patreon's names in my videos too honestly um i actually have people supporting me now um thank you thank you so much people actually paying me money to do videos that's crazy um again Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one.